and this is one tool that I can't do without with uh, my sewing machine, with my engraving machine, with any machines that I have. I always like to have a paintbrush and a nice a one with lots of firm bristles because it is so good to clean up and get round for hat pat I've just done that one with, with it to show you but say my engraving machine same sort of thing here I get a lot of dust and stuff and there and I can clean it out and give it a good hover and this little brush is handy really really handy for getting the dust out because it just makes uh, and then I'll hover it up and that just makes your tools last that little bit longer particular brother has a screw at the end and I think because there's a seam down there that this end bit might come off and make life easier for to clean it and it does so I've loosened it up you can see all the dust and all the all the muck and dust in there and then that gives me a chance to see a bit more into the workings of here this is just six months of sewing and I don't sew a fantastic lot but it means that I've got to clean this out. So I'm going to have to do the same. I'm going to take the pieces out like that. You can see in there that there's dirt inside there. So we're going to get the hover out and clean it. See what's going on. Ready? This is my gadget. Did I use this? Yes. There you go, that's uh, a lovely clean undercarriage, let's call it an undercarriage, I'm very pleased with that and that will probably be fine for another six months 
and we'll clean it out again. And the fact that we clean it out means the machine's going to work a lot better. There's a little peg there and that has to go underneath here. So it's going to go in there, slide it in there and then it goes underneath, underneath and gets into there like that, right? It's a bit wobbly there at the moment but it will settle down. That's in line with the screw position and what we need to do is get this piece here. This is the piece that I've got, an L-shaped piece and that goes in there. Now this has a little a little hook there and a hook there and they're both going the same way so they have to hook into there underneath. So I'm going to get that like that. This one goes into that hole and this one goes into that hole. Can you see? That there goes into that hole, this goes into this hole. So we put that down and we slide it in. It's not always easy. Push it down and then slide it in there. So that's now holding it all in place. That's all that's left for me to do is to put these screws into here. One there. Not very easy to do. This is where the pointy tool comes in handy to start things off because it does some of the work for you. Like that. And then I'll finish it off with this one, which is that one there. It just makes life that little bit easier for me because it's not easy to get on to get a hold of. In fact, it might be easier to do it this way. And you tighten it until, I don't know if you can see there, if my hands aren't in the way. I tighten it until it is too tight to move, until it won't move anymore. So that's probably almost at the right place. Such an awkward thing to, to tighten. There almost as tight as I can get it let's let's push that push that through there and tighten it that yay there we go right so that one's done and now I have to do the one at the back which is slightly easier I can do that with my fingers so far I think and then if I can get it to grip in that hole yeah that's it I think this is the worst bit of doing it is screwing the screws back in because they are not straightforward they're hard to do very fiddly but just think just tell yourself that the fact that you've cleaned this machine you you've cleaned the bottom it's one helpful step towards you not having to pay a lot of money to get service to get to get too many repairs done to it. There we go, that's it. So that is how I clean my bottom of my my sewing machine. This is the plastic uh, bobbin case that goes into the bottom and that fits into there, into here. And sometimes this can get worn so you have to be aware of whether it's getting worn by the needles. This bit here I don't know if you can see that bit of felt. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Let's see if I can get further away. There's a piece of felt there which is starting a little bit to get worn. And also, this bobbin, this is starting to rattle a little bit when it's in the case. I think it'll be fine for the moment, but I think I might eventually need to replace this. Now you can take that to a sewing machine specialist and he will replace it for you or sometimes you can do it yourself if you feel if you've got a, a husband who knows what he's doing or you know what you're doing then you can replace that yourself.